you're you know, straightforward with people, you don't waste their time, they'll gravitate towards you. And if investors gravitate towards you, eventually customers will gravitate towards you because they trust you. And customers who trust you will give you data, and with that data, you can build you know, better marketing campaigns, you can make better product enhancements, you'll retain your customers, right? People want to see, the investors, they want to see you know, customer, potential for customer retention, potential for recurring revenue. That's all really important uh, in terms of being able to attract people to your brand. Uh, and all of this is built on trust. So be prepared and tailor your message to tell people what your, what your product market fit is going to be. Uh, a few words on uh, just convincing these investors. Uh, proof of concept, obviously, is important. I'm sure everyone here has that already, yes? Yeah. Okay. So that's something they'll want to see. Revenue. Uh, does anyone have any revenue? One. Okay. Um, anyway, for the rest of you, some sort of a some sort of a feasible revenue model, obviously, or some kind of a forecast will be, you know, things that they'll they'll want to they'll want to see. Uh, just again to repeat, uh, connecting on a personal level. You know, when you talk to people, talk to people about whatever, you know, like things, cool presentations that happened at the show. Uh, if someone's from Boston and you know, you know, you, you were there recently, talk about that. Just try to connect however you can. Right? Make that personal connection. Make them see, make them see who you are. Make them want to do business with you, right? Um, and showing that you're lower risk. Um, again, this is not, I'm not a finance guy. I don't know how to adapt your ratios, but just some ideas on how to, how to manage that perception. So this is external validation, for example, like I talked about earlier. Um, so there are three scenarios here, right? You're Acme Mousetrap Company, and you claim that you built a better mousetrap. Great. Um, your brother and someone that you used to work with in scenario two are saying, hey, Acme Mousetrap Company has built a better mousetrap. It's changing how people catch mice. Wonderful. Scenario three, there are newspaper articles written about your new mousetrap. You're getting orders unsolicited from overseas, UK, New Zealand. Which of these scenarios do you think an investor is going to more want to be more comfortable with? Obviously, the third one, right? So this is why external validation is important. Not just to get the, brand, the word out about your brand, but to be able to put investors' minds at ease. You're not, your actual risk hasn't changed. It's only the perception. We've all heard the term perception is reality. Um, one more quick one here. Uh, this is how you can show people rather than just tell them, right? You think you can build a great mousetrap, is scenario one. Scenario two, you've built mousetraps in the past. Or scenario three is you're currently building mousetraps, it's going well, your costs are under control, and you're starting to get orders. Obviously, the third one is the one that the investors are going to be most comfortable with. You guys are all at stage three, right? But you have to be able to show them that. So numbers on a page are one thing. You've got to be able to. Again, use those visual aids, or come up with some kind of a way to tell the story about your company that's going to give them that confidence. So, section three, takeaways. Relationships built on trust. Don't overpromise. Accept what your brand is and be clear about it. Get as many endorsements from you know, external parties, be they media, other influencers, as you possibly can. And try to have a model of you know, what a product marketing sales roadmap might look like. Uh, as you move forward. So, um, what to do now? And these are all things, by the way, that I'm happy to help you guys with if you're interested. Uh, getting meetings confirmed for CES. Uh, now is really the time to get on this, guys. Very, very important because time is a factor. Um, when you contact someone about getting a meeting, or once you've had the meeting, what are they going to do? They're going to look you up on the internet. What are they going to find? You need some kind of content. Right? You need a press release, you need something on your social media page, a blog, something that tells people what your company's about, what you're doing, the progress that you're making, content marketing. It's, uh, when you're going to something like this, it's important. You also need collateral for, uh, for, for the show itself, things to give out to people about the company. Uh, I'm sure you've already updated your investor presentation, but just make sure that that's you know, as, as punchy as it can be. Data visualization, start thinking about what data that you have that you can use to tell the story of your brand when you get down there. Uh, the elevator pitch, again, you know, work on a couple of versions depending on who you're talking to. Um, it's something you can't practice enough, really. 
Uh, and again, you know, I'll send you guys that exercise uh, later on this week if you contact me. And the external validation part, again, really, really very important. If someone else is telling the story for you, what, what more can you really ask for? So guys, um, that's pretty much what I've come here to tell you. There's my contacts, and if you've got questions, I'm happy to take them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyone 